High Fire Energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. So today, the messages are a little bit different in a sense that I'm sort of like free-flowing. Um, so these are just messages that can appear maybe random, um, but I feel like these are messages, messages, sorry, um, that are meant for you okay are meant for your ears so if you you know if you've tuned into this it's for a reason there may be something in here for you that might resonate that might help you get at you know remove some barriers or blockages in your life in your love life um there may be something here that you might need to be reminded of or just guided to okay they are general so please just keep that in mind if you are after personal reading please feel free to reach out inquire my email address will be listed below okay we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what messages you're being divinely guided to here okay the eight of pentacles okay new beginnings endings certain things are ending in your life here okay certain things are ending so that new uh things can begin for you okay for some of you you're um you're seeing the beginning of an end here okay whatever this ending is for you a relationship um an affair a cycle um karma you're seeing the beginning of an end here some of you i feel like there's a need for you to let go of painful patterns here painful patterns that you've created here in your life okay and how to do that you must recognize those painful patterns you must recognize where you kept applying those painful patterns in the past or in the present and how they keep you stuck there some of you i feel like this message is very powerful for you guys um you've got to learn to leave the table when love is no longer being served okay you've got to learn to leave the table when love is no longer being served here, guys, because it's it's it hasn't been on the menu for quite some time. Okay, it has not been on the menu for quite some time, guys. You need to learn to accept that something here is ending for you. Some of you, I feel like you're resisting it though. You're resisting it because you don't want it to end. Okay, um, you don't know how you're gonna do without this person, or you you don't know how you're gonna deal with the ending, the transitioning into a whole new chapter. Some of you are resisting it because let's face it, change can be scary, can be uncomfortable. Why? Because you haven't been there, be there before. But that's only normal, okay? The, the Some of you are fighting a current here and the more you resist, the more that this ending here is going to continue to persist or the more endings are going to keep showing up in your life here. start learning to let go here it's going to hurt a little but that's okay that only means that your feelings here are true and are genuine here no one likes pain but i feel like maybe pain is a necessary process or is a necessary evolution of this transition here okay because this this very thing that's ending for you or this very thing that feels very uncomfortable or that you keep resisting and you know what this is personally on a personal level i'm sure you do um it's this very thing is trying to it's trying to help you grow it's trying to evolve it's trying to help you leave a past behind because i feel like some of you you keep the past keeps showing up and there's a reason why that relationship um, never works so there's a reason why you keep having that same relationship even though it's a different person or there's a reason why you can't heal an insecurity or a past hurt or an anger or there's a certain chapter you cannot release yourself from or there's a certain pain you cannot let go okay it's because i feel like a lot of you here you've n never truly learned to walk away from it You must accept the end because there is a new beginning that it's trying to bring in. Okay, and the more you resist this, the less of the new beginning you're going to get. So something needs to end in order for something to begin again. Okay, and in, if you want to have that relationship, if you want to have that healing, if you want to have that growth, that evolution, that you know personal development, if you want to invite newness or novelty into your life, you need to end something here, whether it's an old pattern behavioral pattern a paradigm um a relationship that no longer works 
uh, toxicity, whether you need to end, you know, fighting off this resistance. Something he needs to end so a new beginning can come in for you guys. One of the most courageous decisions you will make here in the next couple of weeks or months is, is the art of letting go, okay? And for those of you that will let go, I feel like this is you, okay? You're the sailor here. You'll be moving on here, okay? So letting go of whatever this is, whether it's a hurt, a pain, a resentment, a relationship, whatever this is for you, okay? It means that you're going to move forward to, you're going to enter in new waters, new territories, okay? It's going to feel different, but I feel like there's going to be a peace or a calm or a healing that's just going to take all over you here. And in the end here, in the end, when, when and if this, you know, finally does end for you or you allow it to end for you, you'll become the journey itself here, guys. And this is really powerful. Okay. And at the end of the day, I know I'm talking about endings and I feel like there's a lot of emphasis, but let, let me reframe it for you. For those of you that are comfortable, you know, ending something, let's reframe it. Um, let's look at it like simply just changing the, your direction and keep going. Okay. Let's try and focus on that because that's what I feel like a lot of you need. You need to hear this because there's a reason why you're stuck, okay? Because you, you haven't been moving. You've been in the same place. You haven't made. You haven't made. Um, you haven't taken any action. You've made no plans. Um, there's no intention to move forward. You're com You're comfortable in your comfort zone here, uh, but no growth is going to happen there. And there's a reason why that relationship hasn't worked out for you is because you need to change things up okay you need to move in a simply change directions keep going you don't have to stop you just need to keep going but make sure you move in a new direction entirely guys and you'll see how that relationship will start working for you or that guy or girl that you want will text or respond to you um, you'll see how you know the past he will no longer haunt you or bother you on that level So I feel like if, for a lot of you, if you choose to stay where you are, I feel like you'll be staying in that place for a very long time. You'll be staying in that same place. For others of you, I feel like I feel like it's important here. For some of you, I can feel like something is just clicking and you're ready. Like you're ready for change or you're ready for this transition, okay? Because um, this, what this very thing that's going on with you, this very energy that you're in, or this, all these endings, or these, you know, changing directions, what this doing, what what this is doing for you is it's helping you transition, it's helping you grow, it's helping you move here. There's a decision here. You've been taking far long to, you've you've taken far too long to make this decision. It's time that you act here. Okay, let this be your call to action here, guys. All right, and these are your messages. I just want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.